Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial is I will walk you through how to use Zoho CRM for real estate. So whether you are a solo agent or managing team, Zoho CRM can help you organize leads, automate follow-ups, and close more deals efficiently. So by the end of this video, you will learn how to set up Zoho CRM for real estate, and then how to manage and track leads, how to automate follow-ups and then reminders, how to customize reports and dashboard for better insight. So first guys, let's set up Zoho CRM for your real estate business. So the first step is of course, you need to sign up for a Zoho CRM. So here you need to go to the Zoho CRM and then you just need to click sign up. And of course, you need to choose the plan that fits your needs. So you can either choose a free or paid and then complete the registration and of course log in so here you just need to tap on this get started button and here you can either connect your account through your google or your email so here you just need to type your full name your email your password and of course your phone number so on your way to zoho crm Let's try to customize your CRM for your real estate. So here, I am going to add my company name. And then of course, how many employees do you have? For example, I will only choose 30. And then, of course, tap at a get started button. And then here guys, you just need to click on the settings. So gear icon in the top right corner. You will be able to see there. You can go to... Medium and then fields customize modules like leads contacts deals and then properties and there guys you can add custom field such as property type budget range and then location here you can either add a new module here and then it will be now depending on you guys so set up your sales pipeline Navigate to deals, click and then create pipeline. So, define stages like new lead, contacted, property viewing, offer made, close, or either won or lost. So, run right after that one guys, you just need to click or tap that save button here. So here, I am going to add a module name, so either plural form or the module name. So here... And then, after that one, what you need to do here next is the managing and then the tracking leads. So now let's see how to add and track leads in Zoho CRM. So adding new leads, go to leads, click plus new lead. So you just need to enter the client details like the name, the email, the phone, and then the property interest. Assign the lead to a sales rep. So if you are working in a team, and then right after that one, you just need to click the save button here. So here I am going to add here the lead owner, the first name, and then the title, the phone, the mobile number, the lead source, and of course guys, the industry, the annual revenue, and then it will be now depending on you. So, right after that one, you just need to proceed to the importing leads. So, what you need to do here is you just need to click the import. So, you are going to see that on the top right corner in the leads module. And then, of course, guys, you need to upload an Excel or CSV file containing your lead data. So, there, you can map the columns correctly. For example, that one is name. So, name, phone, phone number. And then, after that one, you just need to click the import. And then when it comes to lead tracking and a follow-up, you just need to click on a lead to see the timeline of calls, emails, and then the meetings. Of course, guys, you can use the follow-up feature to set the reminders. So, click convert when a lead becomes a potential buyer and move it to deals. So, here guys, one of the best features of this website the Zoho CRM is the automation. We're in automating follow-ups and reminders. 
So here is how you can automate follow-ups to stay ahead. So when you are creating automated email sequences, you will just need to go to the automation, then right after that one, proceed to the workflows, and then proceed in creating a workflow. And then right after that one, you just need to choose the media. For example, to that one is the leads or the deals. And then set the trigger condition. For example, when a new lead is added. So after that one, you just need to select send email and create a follow-up email template. And that's it. You just need to tap on the save button and activate it. And when we, when we say the setting task reminders, you just need to open a lead. Then proceed and clicking the task and then create new tasks. So here, you can set a reminder for a call follow-ups, property visits, or contract signing. So you can choose notification type here. You can either choose email, pop-up, or via SMS. So right after that one, you just need the save button. And here, you'll be able to see here on this part. So here are the cases and then the invoices. So here, you can assign it or add a new one. And here, you are going to go here. You have different options here. What you want to do here. And then, in the using Zoho CRM, guys, mobile app for an on-the-go Flalo apps. So here, you can also download the Zoho CRM app from the App Store or the Google Play, guys. Just need to get push notifications for upcoming follow-ups and, of course, client inquiries. So here, you can... Go proceed to the customizing reports and the dashboard. So in order for you to monitor the performance, guys, you can create reports and dashboards in this website. In creating reports, guys, you just need to go and proceed to the reports and then you can create new report here. You can choose a module again. For example, to that one is the leads, the deals, or the sales performance. And there, you can select filters like date range, lead source, or deal stage. Click Generate to see a detailed project here. So here you can see it here. And then the Building Custom Dashboard, you just need to go to the dashboard, click Create New Dashboard, add widgets like Sales Performance, Conversion Rates, and Top Clients. There, you can drag and drop widgets to arrange your dashboard. And then of course, click the Save button. So, pro tips here guys is, you can use Zoho CRM integrations wherein connect the Zoho CRM with Google Calendar, WhatsApp, and real estate portals for seamless operations. You can also have there a automate lead scoring. So here you can assign score based on client activity. And of course guys, you can set up team collaboration. So use Zoho CRM feeds and notes feature to collaborate with your team and track updates in real time. And that's it guys, that's how you use Zoho CRM for real estate with proper lead management. And you can close more deals and grow your business efficiently. If you found this tutorial helpful, hit the like button, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And see you in my next video. Bye!